Well, we're in part two, and I just thought what I would do. Oh yes, I have to remind myself where I am. Yes, I'm at the U boat hens of La Rochelle. Not really open to the public, but I'm in part two, so I've managed to get away with it so far. And I thought what I would do this time is I'd let you see the fronts just as I'm seeing them, so that I can get a, a glimpse and impression of it. That's absolutely enormous. This building must be at least a hundred meters long. A wee bit of damage on the side, I would assume that's through shell fire and stuff. But oh this is very good. There's my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten entrances. For the U-boats. Now I'm going to do a part three where I try and get into these things. Well, at the minute this is pretty darn good. So it's actually closed to the public. This but I managed to get in through a gate. I'm not looking around and not telling anybody what I'm doing. But there doesn't seem to be any significant damage to the roof or nothing like that. I know during World War Two there was the tall boy bombs. Developed by Barnes Wallace. But this structure looks amazing. I don't know why it's derelict. I was speaking to a chap outside and he said it was for safety reasons. But my goodness, it looks pretty solid to me. I think it's probably just to keep the port, people out of the port. So this is where you both sheltered in there. And we headed out this direction here. There's another bunker up there, right into the Atlantic. Amazing. I'll have a wee look about. Might do a part three any minute.